Hi, this is Suzanne Patterson, one of the school counselors at Bartram Trail High School. I'm going to talk to 10th graders today about what they need to do during 10th grade to get ready for college and graduation, as well as dual enrollment possibly for next school year. The Bartram Trail School Counselors have an open door policy during students' lunch. So if a student has any questions at all, please feel free to stop by and ask those questions during lunch. The Bartram Trail High School webpage has a ton of information that's really important for students. We have our own school counseling webpage, so if you go to the main page of the Bartram website, then go down to school counseling, there's a ton of information there for students and parents. Daily announcements are posted every single day to the main page of the website. And then we also have a Schoology group for our Bartram Trail students as well. We post lots of things to that Schoology group, including scholarships, deadlines for dual enrollment, as well as community service opportunities and school news. There's a couple of really important college fairs and college visits coming up. College Fair that's coming up is on Saturday, October 18th, and it's going to be virtual this year. Students and parents can register online for this event, and over 200 colleges will be holding virtual sessions. We really encourage our 10th graders to attend this virtual college fair so they can learn more about the many different colleges and post-secondary opportunities available to them. Again, they register online and the event is on Saturday, October 18th between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. Students can attend virtual sessions anytime between that time frame. We also has, have virtual college visits for Bartram students here on campus at Bartram. College reps contact us and then tell us the time, date, and uh, virtual information, and we share that out with our Bartram students. Students can go to the Bartram website, then go to school counseling, then go to college visits to see the colleges that are available to speak to Bartram students. And then we also announce these college visits via the Schoology page as well. All 10th graders will automatically be signed up to take the PSAT on Wednesday, October 14th. Distance learners are welcome to come on campus to take the PSAT as well, but certainly you do not have to take it if you do not feel comfortable. On the day of the PSAT, Students are going to learn where their testing location is by going to the main page of the Bartram website, then going to testing, then go to the PSAT information. On that website, you'll be able to click a link to determine where your testing location is on the testing day of the PSAT. Students will take the PSAT all day and they will be able to get their scores by logging into the College Board website in early December. When they bubble in their um, information for the College Board on the day of the PSAT, one of the most important things that they're gonna bubble in is their email address. Students are gonna check their email address in early December. They're gonna have an email in that email address from the College Board and then using that email, they'll be able to log into the College Board to check their PSAT scores. Students get PSAT scores before the school gets PSAT scores. So if students want to know what their PSAT scores are, they're really going to make sure, need to make sure that they provide College Board with an accurate email address. Now let's talk graduation requirements for the state of Florida. For the state of Florida, students need to get 28 very specific check marks for graduation, and I'm going to go through those check marks next. The first check mark that students need for a high school graduation for a standard diploma in the state of Florida is to pass the Algebra 1 end of course exam. Students can get that check mark for graduation in a variety of ways. They can either 
pass the Algebra 1 EOC with a level 3 or above, or earn a 16 on the ACT math, or earn a SAT math score of 420, or earn a PSAT math score of 430, or earn a level 3 on the Geometry EOC. Again, all 10th graders are taking the PSAT this school year, so this is a very easy opportunity for students to get that check mark for graduation this school year. The second check mark for graduation is the grade 10 FSA ELA. If students don't pass that grade 10 FSA ELA, which will be given at the end of the school year, they can use the ACT or the SAT as a concordance score for that as well for high school graduation. The next two check marks for graduation is the 2.0 cumulative unweighted GPA, which is about a C average, and one full length online course. And remember, if a student took HOPE at Bartram, then that counted for their online course. Next, we have 24 very specific check marks that we need for graduation. You have English 1, 2, 3, 4, Algebra, Geometry, and two additional math courses. Any math course that we offer here at Bartram will count as a math for graduation. We have Biology and two additional sciences. Again, any science course that we offer at Bartram is going to count for science for graduation. In 10th grade, students will take world history. In the 11th grade, students will take US history. In senior year, students will take government and economics. Students will need one practical performing or fine art credit for graduation. They'll need one hope credit for graduation. And then students will need eight elective credits for graduation. World language is not a graduation requirement, however, Two years of the same consecutive world language is a requirement for both Bright Future Scholarship and college admissions. In order to promote to the 11th grade, students will need 11 credits. However, we hope that they are earning all of their credits that they are scheduled in so that they can be on track for a on-time high school graduation. While community service is not required for graduation, it is required for the Bright Future Scholarship and it does look really good on college applications. For the highest level of the Bright Future Scholarship, students need 100 hours of community service in addition to GPA and ACT or SAT testing requirements. We suggest that students get 100 hours of community service completed, turned in, and finished by the end of 11th grade. Community service verification letters can be turned in to Ms. Richards in the main guidance office or emailed to her. There are lots of ways to get community service on campus at Bartram through clubs, or through a couple of different websites, St. John's Volunteers or Volunteer Match. Colleges are looking for students to not only excel in the classroom, but to also have extracurricular activities and community service hours outside of the classroom as well. And they are looking at what types of courses students are taking. They're looking for honors level, dual enrollment, and AP classes. Dual enrollment is when students are able to take a college course and a high school course and be awarded both college credit and high school credit for one single course. If a student is interested in earning an AA degree or if a student is wanting to take a lot of college level courses during high school and they're worried about making sure they're fulfilling their degree requirements or prerequisite requirements, we suggest that students reach out to St. John's River State College Advising to make sure they are doing everything they need to do 
to fulfill AA degree requirements or prerequisite requirements. Students need the following three things in order to qualify for dual enrollment. They are gonna need a 3.0 unweighted cumulative GPA, and they are gonna need qualifying placement test scores in reading, writing, and math. Those qualifying placement test scores can be um, taken from any number of tests, either ACT or SAT or the PERT. And the third thing that students will need to do is submit a complete and accurate dual enrollment application, registration approval form, and proof of qualifying placement scores by the published deadline for Bartram Trail High School. Students will be informed when dual enrollment applications and registration approval forms are available, as well as those deadlines using all of the following methods. Morning announcements, Schoology, the Remind text messaging service, and the dual enrollment website. If 10th grade students are interested in taking dual enrollment classes on Bartram's campus during their 11th grade year, they are going to need to do some things this semester by December. They are going to need to make sure that they earn a qualifying placement score from either the ACT, SAT, or PERT by December of their 10th grade year so that those, those test scores are available by January deadline. The dual enrollment classes that are offered on Bartram's campus for 11th grade students only are ENC 1101, which would count as an English 3 credit, ENC 1102, which would count for an English 4 credit, as well as AMH 2010 and AMH 2020, which together will count for a U.S. History credit. Students can use the PERT, the ACT, or the SAT in order to earn qualifying placement scores for dual enrollment classes. Students can contact St. John's River State College to schedule a PERT test. Students can go onto the ACT.org website to schedule and pay for an ACT test. Students can go onto the College Board website to schedule and pay for an SAT test. Remember, if students are interested in taking dual enrollment their 11th grade year, they must have qualifying placement scores on file with Bartram by January, which means they have to take those tests by December 2020. There is a packet of material available for students on our Schoology page. Students should go to resources, then classroom lessons, then 10th grade lessons, and they can find that fall packet. If they're interested in dual enrollment for the upcoming school year, we highly suggest that you read thoroughly through the dual enrollment frequently asked questions, the PERT testing information, and the dual enrollment timeline. There's other great information in that packet as well for students, including information about raise.me to earn scholarships for college. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and thank you so much for listening to the presentation.